Bertha, lovely Bertha, you are a lovely machine. And anyone who works with you will know just what I mean. Whoa, Bertha, lovely Bertha, sometimes I think you're a dream. But when we work out what you have to do, you can always turn the goods out, always turn the goods out. We can depend upon you. Clicking in the day, flashing in the night, your computer is shining brightly. Some people say you have a mind of your own, and I think that's very likely, likely. Oh, Bertha, lovely Bertha, sometimes I think you're a dream. But when we work out what you have to do, you can always turn the goods out, always turn the goods out, we can depend upon you. It is lunchtime at Spotty's Wooden Company and Bertha has stopped work. Tom, the robot, is cleaning. All morning, Bertha has been making windmills. They're a special kind of musical money box. Mr Sprott, the designer, hopes they will sell a lot of them to people who like to save money. Ted has gone to the canteen and Flo has gone shopping. Roy and Nell are eating their sandwiches. What sort of sandwiches are yours, Nell? Cheese and cucumber. Very nice. Would you like to try one? No, thanks. I prefer mine. What have you got in yours? Peanut butter and cornflakes. Together? Mmm. In a sandwich? Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. What's wrong with that? Oh, nothing. Must taste funny, though. Where's Flo? She's gone shopping. She'll be back soon. I think I'll save her one of my sandwiches. I expect she'll be hungry. This is a jolly good idea of Mr Sprott's, making a windmill into a money box. Yes. If you put a coin in the slot, the sails go round and it plays a tune. Does it? I'll have a go. That's very good. I like that. I'll have another go. <laughs> Tom likes it too. Does it play any other tunes? I don't know. I'll put a coin in and see. It's the same tune. Mm, but it's very pretty. Tom wants to play it. Hey, how do we get our money out? I suppose you have to have a key to unlock it. But I haven't got a key. Neither have I. I haven't seen any keys. Bertha's been making these windmills all morning, but she hasn't made one key. Oh, well, that's the end of our lunch hour. Back to work. I'll have to tell Ted that there are no keys for the money boxes. Right, back to work. Now then, let's see, where were we? Ah, yes. Ted, have you got a coin? Yes, why? Put it in the windmill and see what happens. Very clever. People are like that. No, they won't. People put money into money boxes so they can save it to spend later. That's right. Well, you can't spend it if you can't get it out again. This money box has no key. Eh? There seems to be a lot of money in there. Yes, mine. And mine. Tom's. I've just put a coin in too. But we can't get it out again. Bertha hasn't made any keys. 
And Bertha's been making windmills all morning. He doesn't say anything here about Bertha having to make keys. When Mr. Sprott designed the windmill, he must have forgotten. Mr. Duncan, the factory foreman, has come to see what all the chatter is about. What's the trouble, Ted? You should have started work five minutes ago. Oh, hello, Mr. Duncan. There's something wrong with the windmill money box. Looks all right to me. Put a coin in the slot and see what happens. Ah, well, uh, I'm not too sure I have a coin to spare. You have to put a coin in to find out what's wrong with it. I suppose so. Hey. Very good. Very good indeed. Looks all right to me. The thing that is wrong with it, Mr Duncan, is that once you put your money in, you can't get it out again. Oh! Oh! You mean I can't get my coin back? That's right. There's no key to open the back. But... but... There, there, there must be a way. It's no good, Mr Duncan. Uh, well, I better take this and show it to Mr Wilmick. And you'd all better get back to work. Good afternoon, Ted. Afternoon, Padgett. Er, uh, where's Flo? She went shopping at lunchtime. <laughs> ah. Ooh, she's late back for work. Yes. I wonder where she's got to. Tom. Everyone was busy making more windmills when Flo arrived back, looking very unhappy. I'm so sorry I'm late, Ted, but I'm very upset. Why? What's wrong, Flo? I couldn't buy anything because on the way to the shops, I lost my purse with all my money in it. Oh, Flo, that's terrible. Did you look everywhere? Yes. Everywhere. That's why I'm so late. Poor old Flo. You must be hungry too. Look, I've saved you one of my cheese sandwiches. I'd better take this home with me because there'll be nothing for supper. Have a good look round, Flo. Maybe you lost it here. Yes, I will. Thank you, Ted. Upstairs, in the office, Mr Duncan is showing the manager and Miss McClackety how the money box works. Mmm, very good. But you say that now I have put the money in, I can't get it out. That's right, sir. You can't open the back. See for yourself. Hmm. This is a design problem. Miss McClackety, ring Mr. Sprott and ask him to come and see me. In the design office, Mr. Sprott has just invented a new money box for Bertha to make, and he's trying it out. Now, what's this, Tracy? Good. It works. Well done, Mr. Sprott. Thank you. Oh, yeah. That shouldn't happen. Hello?
All right, I'll tell him. Mr Wilmate wants to see you in his office. Something has gone wrong with the windmill. Oh, dear. Not more problems. I, I'd better go and see. You see, Mr Wilmick, you just can't get the money out. Surely that means it is a jolly safe money box. Something wrong with my windmill, Mr Wilmick? Yes, there is, Mr Sprott. Pop a coin in the slot and you will see. I haven't any coins left. I put the last one into my barrel organ. And I have put all mine in your windmill. And I'm not wasting any more money. Oh, I will. I like the tune it plays. Splendid. There's nothing wrong with it. One of my best designs. Now, how do you get the money out of the money box? You can't until it's full. Such a pleasant way to save, don't you think? But isn't there something missing? No, there's nothing missing. It's all there. What about a key? You don't need a key. When the money box is full, the last coin you put in makes the sales go around the other way. It plays a different tune. The back opens and all the money falls out. Oh, that's nice. A very clever money box, Mr Sprott. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I'd better go and tell Ted. He's worried because Bertha isn't making any keys. We'll take it down and show him how it works. Meanwhile, on the factory floor, Flo is still looking for her purse. I don't know where I could have lost it. I've looked everywhere. Don't worry, Flo. We'll lend you some money until payday. Thank you, Ted. Stop working for a moment, Ted. Mr Sprott has something to show you. The windmill money boxes do not need keys to open them. All this one needs is one more coin. A coin, please, from anyone. But no one seems to have any coins left. They've all put them in the windmill. Does no one have a single coin? Sorry. Not one. The only coins I had, I put in the windmill. The only coins I had were in my purse, and I lost that. Good afternoon, everyone. Paige, have you got a coin? Yes, thank you, I have several. Paige, this windmill is one of Mr Sprott's best designs. All you have to do is put a coin in a slot and see it working. In there? Yes, and then see what happens. Bingo! <laughs> Have I won a jackpot? No, Pangit. That is the money we all put in to test it. I know. Why don't we give the money to Flo as she's lost her purse? A splendid idea! Yes, of course. You must have the money, Flo. Thank you. Everyone. When people buy the windmill, how will they know how it works, Mr Sprott? Because all the instructions are printed on the box. Well, I never. So it is. I never thought to look. Remember, Nell, you should always read the instructions on the box. Oh, Bertha, lovely Bertha, sometimes I think you're a dream. When we work out what you have to do, you can always turn the goods out, always turn the goods out. We can depend upon you. Oh, 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 oh.